Facing the fall, after a second day of school here in Duval County, social distancing remains one of the biggest challenges in classrooms and hallways. These photos show how difficult it is to keep students apart. News 4 Jax has several reporters covering new developments on the pandemic. We begin with Joe McLean joining us live from Stanton College Preparatory School. Joe, what are teachers there telling you? Some teachers say they were able uh, to make social distancing work in their classrooms. Some said it's been working out fine, but as those images showed and other teachers told me that in many areas of their school building, social distancing is essentially impossible. These photos posted to social media were captured at Stanton College Preparatory School during the first day of classes yesterday. Students wearing masks but still crowded in outdoor areas failing to maintain social distancing. It was one of the pillars of the DCPS reopening plan's safety strategy. Quote, classrooms will provide social distancing to the extent possible, but it's not possible everywhere, according to teachers who asked to remain anonymous. One of them described concerns even with half the secondary students learning from home part of the week until September 14th. Quote, it's been good here because half the kids for hybrid haven't come to school. The only way it isn't happening is at lunch. The school doesn't enforce it and the kids are all over each other. Another teacher saying, quote, I think most schools are trying their best to social distance, but there's not really a way to actually enforce and do it. We have classes with 30 plus kids. It's simply not possible to socially distance with that many people in a classroom. Superintendent Diana Green acknowledged the issue Thursday night. We're going to continue to push for social distancing. We had most of our schools visited today by district leadership and the number one thing that they saw was that students were wearing their mask and that they did not have any real issues with students keeping their mask on but we're always go we're going to have to continue to work with social distancing that that will be an issue for us Now, I asked the district if there were any students, teachers, or staff who tested positive for COVID-19 and are in quarantine uh, as of today. Um, I'm still waiting for that information. We'll let you know when that information does arrive. Reporting live, I'm Joe McLean, Channel 4, The Local Station.